Maintenance on an open fit behind your hearing aid is something that can be done at home as well. You do get, you are given those instructions during your fitting process, but there's a lot of information to take at one time. So we're going to show you how to take care of things at home as well. So on display here, I have a standard behind your hearing aid with the open fit tubing option with the rubber tip and then also with a custom slim tip. The use of them is the same. They both have a zero stop wax guard and I'm just going to show you how to clean them and keep them working. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take off the rubber tip and show the wax guard that's in behind it. So kind of pinch it between your fingers and pull off. There's a zero stop wax guard. Now for changing that we have our package of zero stop wax guards. I'm going to take a single one on the side with a stinger barb and I'm going to go straight in and pull straight out. Sometimes they stick. And this one's sticking pretty good. Sometimes it won't, the tips can be in there a little bit harder than others, so I've got my tweezers there. And this is something that may happen to you at home. So Now while I've got it out, before I put the wax guard back in, I'm going to unthread the tubing from the hearing aid by screwing it counterclockwise. And then we have these little filament threads. Sometimes a blockage can happen in the tubing here. So from the end that goes into the hearing aid, we're going to push it through. It's going to get caught down in the corner in the crevice here. And as it comes at the end, it comes out the end and pulls out any wax and we're just going to pull it all the way through. And that helps keep any wax that gets in the corner down here. So now I'm going to grab another zero stop, a new one, and I'm going to put it back in the end, find the center, push straight in, pull straight out, tap with your fingernail, and then we can just slide the rubber dome back on, kind of squish it on, give a little twist to make sure it's on, and there you have it. Now with the other tip, you can still put that rod through to clean it out, and it has a zero stop in the end, so we're going to change that out, and we'll see if... This one comes out the first shot or not. So straight in with the stringer of our bend, pull straight out. So these ones are holding in a little bit better. So my little tweezers, out it goes. And then with the replacement tip, straight in and out and tap it down with your fingernail. Now to put it back on, put the two pieces together, apply a little bit of pressure and turn clockwise. Sometimes it takes a little bit for the threads to catch. And then about two turns and it's on. Now the other spot to maintain is your microphone ports. Just going to take the brush and kind of keep those cleaned out there. And you should be all set. Typically where the wax is going to build up is in the end or in the corner here. Sometimes this tubing will get kinked right here and it will block the sound. Now this tubing is something that we change in office usually about every six months. If you need some, we can get them for you. And if you can't take care of this yourself, with our Sound Care Assurance, give us a call, come into one of the Connect offices, and we'll take care of it for you.